Desmond here for Winners and Winers, and I've got a USFL review and preview here while I'm trying to make you a better better here at Winners and Winers. By the way, <clears throat> make sure that you're betting legally, safely. The rules are a little bit different state to state. Let's just make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. If you win big, make sure you're paying your taxes. Let's uh, keep this all on the up and up. We want to enjoy our sports gambling, not risk jail time. It's not what we're here to do. Just saying. So the Birmingham Stallions beat the absolute snot out of the New Orleans Breakers. This was disappointing for me because I had the Breakers plus the points in that game. It wasn't even close. They got beat by 25, and it wasn't that close. I mean, the Breakers were never in the game. It was just from the very jump. They just weren't, and they got absolutely blown out. Likely uh, MVP of the league, Alex Magoo. What a Magoo. Uh, threw five TD passes against the Breakers. Their defense just didn't even show up. So it was horrible. And, by the way, that's a favorite covering. And I got the over in that game. So, hey, you know blind squirrel and a nut and all that and then in the north division championship well it went badly for me there too uh the michigan panthers i had plus three and a half they lost by four 31 to 27 but i've got to say it's because of the stupid overtime rules the overtime rules in the usfl suck they're dumb there's no way around it in, in almost no other iteration of overtime rules could the Maulers have ended up winning by four points after being tied and going into overtime. But no, no, no. Thank you, USFL, for having to be different than everybody else and screw it up for me. That's how I feel about that. Uh, favorite covers there, and I had the under as well, and it went over. So all in all, a pretty crap weekend for me in the USFL. But we're looking forward to the championship in two weeks. The early line is six points. The Stallions of Birmingham are giving six points to your team with a losing record. Uh, man, that happened in the XFL, too. Game, teams with losing records in the championship game, not the best thing for the leagues. But, hey, it happens in short seasons. So you've got the Maulers of Pittsburgh, 5-6. and Six-point six dogs against the Stallions. Uh, the What is the over-under bet on this right now when it came out? <laughs> I don't have an over-under number yet, do I? No, I don't. I, I don't have it over under number. But um, I'm going to lean under. Look, I know the Stallions scored a bunch of points in the last game, but the, the Breakers' defense was just horrible. The, the Pittsburgh Maulers' defense is second best in the league in total points scored and points per game. And by the way, they lead the league in takeaways and turnover plus minus. They're plus eight best in the league as well they don't get the ball away and they take it away um so i would lean towards giving well taking the six points with the underdog here uh especially because these two teams met in week four and that outcome was 24 to 20 stallions all right loud as here that's your usfl conference championship in review and an early preview of the championship game which for some stupid reason is two weeks away instead of just being this weekend I, what, what the hell they think it's the super bowl near they're, they're the nfl give me a break Lot Esmond for winners and whiners trying to make you a better better